Welcome back to Apple Juice 24-7 for the latest juice in tech. In today's episode, we'll look at which features you'll miss out on with the 2021 iPad Pro. Starting out with Face ID, a future generation of the iPad Pro is expected to get a full overhaul with the True Depth camera. Apple is expected to make improvements to Face ID so it fits in a smaller package. Alongside an infrared camera, they're expected to introduce a new LiDAR camera. This will be a miniaturized version of the LiDAR sensor in the main camera system on the back. It will offer more secure and reliable 3D authentication, all at wider angles and longer distances while making it more secure. Another benefit of having a redesigned True Depth camera system for Face ID are thinner bezels for the iPad. In a future version of the iPad Pro, Apple is expected to move from 9mm uniform bezels to 7mm. This thickness will still be enough to hold the iPad comfortably, and with the increased screen to body ratio, Apple will be able to fit larger screens in the same form factor. With Apple slimming down the bezels and switching up the design will make future versions of the iPad Pro a very attractive buy. With the iPhone 12s, Apple is said to be experimenting with optical in-screen Touch ID, which will be applied across Apple's mobile device lineup with future versions of the iPad Pro, which will offer an alternate secure form of unlocking your device and a great complement to Face ID. The A15X chip, which is set to be shipped alongside the iPad Pro next year, will be built on a more efficient 5 nanometer plus process. And with Apple exponentially improving their mobile chips, expect iPad Pros to be comparable or surpass performance on M1 Max. Moving on to the cameras, with the iPad Pro expecting a redesign next year, the camera module will be changed with the addition of a telephoto camera. This will complete the iPad Pro's camera system with an ultra-wide, wide telephoto and LiDAR camera. Apple will likely upgrade the Magic Keyboard to feature a larger trackpad, new colors, and multiple USB-C Thunderbolt ports. And lastly, with future versions of the iPad Pro, Apple is rumored to upgrade to an OLED display. While Mini LED is an improvement over LCD, OLED displays offer huge improvements for contrast and color accuracy over Mini LED displays but they are higher in cost to produce, which is why Apple has released devices with OLED displays only on the iPhone and Apple Watch series with smaller displays. While the next generation iPad Pro in 2021 is set for a lot of upgrades, there are a lot of refinements that it's missing out on in future versions of the iPad Pro as illustrated here. Thank you so much for tuning into Apple Juice 24 seven for the latest juice and tech. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and stay tuned for the next episode. Cheers.